couple of extra punts in after practice. Eric, you good? All right, hey, go ahead. Uh, John, just a few weeks into preseason camp, how do you think this, this thing has gone this far? Uh, I think it's gone really well. This has uh, probably been my best camp overall. Um, I think our special teams is looking really good with Coach Dows. Um, we got a big emphasis on punt because, you know, Coach Houston loves his punt team. Um, so, you know, that, that adds a little pressure for us punters to do well, but we need it, you know? Um, but I think the team looks really good overall. Is it scary when you're sitting back there with a stopwatch behind you and you're going? Um, when I was a freshman, yes. Now, I don't want to say anything because I don't want to be like, oh, you're not scared of me? <laughs> But no, I mean, I'm used to it now. You get a little used to intimidating. It. How are the younger guys doing with it? Um, they're doing well. Uh, younger guys were just really focusing on their off times. So what, what's been your big emphasis over the off season and coming into this fall to try to, to uh, you know, to improve on good performance already? Um, my biggest thing is I want to I wanted to work on my hang time this off season, um, and I was just outside with my kicking coach Dan Orner. We brought him in here and. Um, I've worked with him since I was a freshman in high school, um, and I really trust him with all my punting and kicking abilities. So we had him in here today, and that's why I was a little late to getting you guys. Um, but my biggest thing this offseason with him was working on my hang time, and I think I've improved my hang time a lot. Do you still work with the as a holder, you know, with the field goal kickers, and it's a little different with Verity not here. There's kind of three of them battling a little bit. I mean, what's your perspective on how that that competition is going? Um, you're right, it is different with, with Jake not being here. That was, that was my best friend. Yeah. We've been together for a few years and stuff, but I'm happy for him doing well in the NFL. Um, the young guys, it's, it's definitely different because each kicker likes their holds a little bit different. Um, some guys like them straight up and down. Some guys like it a little bit lean to the right. Some of them like it forward. So I just have to remind myself each time, you know, which kicker is up. Um, but, you know, Daffer is smacking the ball right now. Carson's really hitting a clean ball and you know Leith is hitting his high his high balls that he always does and you know it's it's coming down to the wire you know they're they're all kind of up there so I don't know we'll see how it goes I guess this you know I know you don't get to make decision on who kicks but it's a good problem to have three good kickers right oh yeah yeah we love it especially coach Dows coach <laughs> Dows loves the competition and uh not not only just for for kicking but for snapping also with Liam Liam sling them back there, and Slade, uh, he also zips it back there pretty fast. So we got competition all around. You're obviously back with the, the COVID year, and in a normal situation, you wouldn't be back. So what does this extra year mean to you? Um, I think last year definitely put it in perspective for a lot of the stuff that I've taken for granted. Um, you know, with that COVID year last year, I was kind of made me think, wow, this is almost over. So I'm taking every day, and Coach Dowson, Coach Houston always talk about it. You know, every day is a new day, and um, sometimes I think we take it for granted, and sometimes it's good. You know, af after a long day at the facility, I go back home and just reflect on how the day was. And, you know, everybody says that you miss, you know, the conversations in the locker room and all that. So I'm really just trying to, you know, think about those times. Thank you. 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 Thank you.